guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to take you along as I refresh my bedroom for the new year. I love doing this every year, kind of after the holidays and all of the seasons, kind of giving it a fresh new look. And I found some new bedding, a new comforter at Walmart that just is so cozy. I was so drawn to it. Typically, I go with like the white bedding, the white comforter or the white duvet, and I was drawn to something a little bit darker. So I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I can't wait to see how it looks. Then I'm also going to change some of the pictures on my wall, kind of just add some new touches, maybe head into the bathroom a little bit and add a few new things in there too that I've picked up. So just giving it a little refresh. So hopefully this will inspire you to give your bedroom a refresh for the new year as well. So I cannot wait to take you along to show you how it turns out. And if you are new here to my channel, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking, and crafting here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click that subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys, you know what time it is. Grab yourself a yummy warm coffee, sit back, relax, and let's head to the bedroom and get started. So here is an overview of the bedroom. I'm obviously gonna take the Christmas prints down. I will get to that in just a second. First things first, here is the inspo for the bedroom. This is the bedding that I got at Walmart. I love the color. It's just such a pretty blue and I love the paisley texture on it. It's just gonna add a really nice texture to the bed. I think it's gonna look really pretty here. Warm up the space a lot and then maybe I'll add some white bedding at the end of it. We'll see, right? So I'm gonna add that to the bed. So I wanted to show you the color of the bedding. I just think it's gonna look really pretty in here. So next up obviously is taking down the Christmas prints. So what I'm gonna go with, instead of having the large 24 by 36, I bought these frames at Michael's. They're the same frames. They're the great Belmont frames that I love from Michael's, but I got the 16 by 20. It's got an 11 by 14 mat in it. And then I got some fabric. That fabric, I just picked it up at Hobby Lobby, probably changed things up. But the beauty of this is then I can change the fabric out seasonally. So I'm just gonna add some fabric in there. And it's such an affordable way to change the artwork above the bedding here. So I'm gonna do three frames here. And then where the sleigh rides print is, I had this uh, clock that I actually picked up on clearance at Hobby Lobby last year. It was in our spare room. It's missing a handle, doesn't work, but I'm okay. It's more decorative than anything. And I'm going to hang that where the sleigh rides is to kind of cozy up the space as well. So before I get to making the bed, I'm going to obviously want to stand on the bed, take that down and then frame these up and then hang those above the bed. So I'm going to change the artwork first in the prints and then we'll get to making the bed. Here is the fabric that I picked out. It's from Hobby Lobby that I'm going to simply cut out and pop in each of these frames. I wanted something with a little bit more detail, a little bit more maybe even with the paisley in it, but I couldn't find anything that had the right blue I was looking for. This was the closest that I could find. And I think the blue will really pop on the wall. Um, so I'm gonna cut this out, tape it into the frame, and then we'll see how it looks. ended up cutting all of my pieces of fabric first since I was cutting it out. I also sprayed it with a little bit of wrinkle release and then I did add my steamer to it. You could iron it as well just to get out of the wrinkles so you can see a little bit of the spray and the steam on it. So I did that as well. Now I'm just going to pop it in the frame, add a little bit of tape and hang these up. So 
here are the three framed and I love the way it looks. I just like that subtle pop. Now I almost even went with some wrapping paper. I have wrapping paper that I had similar colors in and I used it recently for some presents and I was like, oh, I don't have any more of it. But this works just as well. I love the way it looks framed and I cannot wait to get it on the wall. So I'm gonna take the St. Nick's bed and breakfast print down, add some nails and hang these up. And I am just winging it. There was a little pinhole from a picture that I had here before that was centered. So I'm using that for the center picture. And then I am just eyeballing the other two. That's kind of just how I do things. Adding a nail and hoping for the best. And thankfully it worked out pretty good. So I'm gonna hang these up and wait to see, see how nice these turned out above the bed. So I got the three hung above the bed and I absolutely love it. It makes it look so much bigger too. It, it's surprising. So I'm so happy with it. And I love that subtle pop of blue. Really warms up the wall space too. And it's not busy, it's just very subtle. So I'm actually kind of happy with this fabric too. So now I am going to grab a magic eraser and get out some of the scuffs that I can see. And I'm gonna get some caulk, fill in those little holes that I can see too. And that will be done. Here is a little progress shot now that I've taken down both of the signs. Kitty has joined me to help me and I love the difference in here now. Having the clock over here, again it doesn't work. <laughs> it's more decorative but I just love it there and eventually I'll get it fixed but I just love the way it looks there. And then of course the three prints above the bed makes such a difference. It really elongated that space. I just love it. Maybe it's just because it's so different because I haven't had something like that above the wall. I always had that other picture up there, but I just, I love the way it looks, but now I'm really excited to get to the bedding. <laughs> the bed looks like such a mess right now. So I'm excited to get the bed made and start bringing this room together, then adding in some decor. I'm really shopping my home for a lot of that. I don't have a lot of new decor, just bringing in things that I have and shopping my basement. Um, but I can't wait to like give this a refresh with this new bedding. So let's get started. I love using this downy wrinkle releaser to help get out little wrinkles. I also sometimes go with my steamer or iron over the sheets as well, but I'm not too particular with that. Now it's time to finally add the comforter. And I just, again, love this color. It's really gonna warm up the space and I love the texture on it too. So I'm gonna add that on top of the bed. One thing that is sticking out to me as I am making the bed are the lamps on the nightstands. I just don't like the way they look with the bedding for some reason. So I had Wayne go to the basement and grab a couple of pair of lamps that I have to see if I like these better. So I'm gonna try these out and see if they look a little bit better on the nightstands than these black ones do. So here are each of the lamps. And now I can't decide because I'm not a huge fan of the color of this lampshade, but I like the white base. I can't decide. I just know that I'm glad that I moved the black ones. I can't decide. So what I'm going to do in a situation like this, I kind of like to step away, get some coffee, think about it a little bit more. I wasn't really planning on buying new lamps, but I'm going to see if there's anything that kind of jumps out at me and then we'll come back to it. But this is where I am right now. I might just even start back on this tomorrow and 
after I decide on the lamps before I move forward. So it is the next day and I'm off to Gabe's and my feeling is if I run into some lamps I like, it was meant to be and sure enough, I found these lamps. I actually found a couple pair that I liked. I really like these and I like these too and they're so affordable as well. Here are the lamps that I picked up at Gabe's and I love them here on the nightstands. They're so pretty and for $24.99 each, it was such a good deal. Plus I had a coupon, so for the two, I think with tax it was like $45. So such a great deal. I just need to remove the uh, plastic off of them, but I just set them here first before I did that. Um, also too, I did change the pillow placement just a little bit. I like this placement better than what I did yesterday. I put the smaller pillows behind the Euro pillows. Um, I just like this a little bit more too. So those kind of stand up. And this is normally how I do it too. I don't know why I put them the other way, but here they are. And then I also brought in this quilt, just shopping my home. I had this one, so I put that at the end of the bed and I like the color here. And of course the texture, it's got more texture on here and it also matches the frames too. So I really like how this all um, just really cozies up and warms up the space. So now I'm gonna go downstairs and find some decor. I don't like to add too much to the nightstands, but just a few little pieces and start decorating this room and bringing it all together. I found some frames in the basement that I thought would work well on the nightstands. So I'm going to frame some more of the fabric. So I'm just cutting it out, popping it in the frames. going to add a topiary to each of the nightstands as well as a frame and if you look out the window you can see a deer under the hemlock there were actually several of them under there they're just they're so precious and we get deer in our backyard all of the time and then on the dresser I'm just going to add a basket with some greens and these greens are from Hobby Lobby they're one of my favorites I'm getting close to being done in here and refreshing this space but I wanted to show you when I was downstairs trying to find some decor, I found more of the wrapping paper that was my inspo to use in the frames and initially what I was gonna go with. But in the long run, I'm actually happy with what I chose and using the fabric. I just love the way that looks more, but this was the original inspo. I wanted to use that and then I remembered I wrapped some presents with this and I thought I was all out of it, but when I was downstairs, I found some more. So this was the original wrapping paper. But the fun thing is doing this, it's such an easy and affordable swap to change this out seasonally. Or if you just want to change the look of your, the room a little bit, just changing it out with, with like the wrapping paper. It's an easy swap. So look for wrapping paper, fabric, anything that you can use, old, anything that you have. It's a great and affordable way to change out your artwork. Again, I also used it in the frames on the nightstands too. And I just, I always love doing that. You may find pictures even in magazines. I did that long time ago. I remember doing that. Um, so you can always find affordable art and affordable frames to change it out. And, but I wanted to show you this wrapping paper too. How funny it was that I actually found that after all of that, but I love the way this turned out. And when I was in the basement, I found this pillow. So I'm gonna add that to the bed as well. And this is how the bedroom turned out. I love how cozy it is. I love the bedding. And I absolutely love the pictures above the bed. That's probably my favorite. I just love everything and the lamps too are so pretty and really transform the space affordably.
So the one space you're not seeing much in this video is in this corner with the fireplace. This fireplace is new. We got it at the end of last year. I've been looking for something for this space and I found this fireplace at Lowe's. I love how it tucks here in the corner, kind of really filled in the space. My one issue is we do have really tall ceilings here. So I'm still trying to figure out how to fill up this space. I did put this arch here, which I really like because it really does help elongate the space. Next to it over here is the TV, which we have yet to hang. So that's why I don't show much of this space, but I am trying to find something to kind of fill this in a little bit more. So that's a little bit of a work in progress. So stay tuned for part two of this space. Um, just kind of how I'm going to fill this in. I am considering painting the fireplace. Wayne, my husband, doesn't know that yet, but I'm thinking about painting it too, just to kind of go a little bit more with everything. But I do like that brick look to it. It's like a faux brick. It's really, really pretty. I love the way it feels in here, especially in the winter. Um, and you know, it does let out some heat too. So it's, it's really nice, but this is one space that is still kind of a work in progress. So stay tuned for more of that. Now let's head into the master bathroom real quick to do a few little changes, including taking down this Christmas picture finally. And then I shopped my basement and I found this. So I'm gonna hang this on the wall. And when I went to Home Goods, I found this really pretty soap dispenser. I almost grabbed it, but then I found this one that was on clearance. So I love a good deal. I also picked up some new towels. So I'm going to roll these up and put them in the basket above the toilet. Then I also have another decorative towel that I'm going to hang as well. I'm changing out the print that I had in this frame. I had some Christmas scrapbook paper in it and I'm changing it out for some more of the fabric that I also used in the bedroom. Then I'm also adding this riser along with a candle ring and a candle. And then in the basket, I am adding some Kleenex. And with a few simple and quick changes, this is how the bathroom turned out. Okay, you guys. That is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got some inspo for your home as well. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments below what you enjoyed the most. And for daily decor and DIY inspo, follow me over on Facebook or Instagram at Mother Time. Thank you so much for joining me here today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.